The topic of our demo today is how to create a table using cloud database with database.com. Uh, this is being brought to you by uh, Cash Mughal from sqlazuretutorials.com. So let's jump right into it. Uh, what is database.com? Uh, database.com is an enterprise level cloud database which is being offered by salesforce.com. In case you didn't know, don't know, salesforce.com is a CRM application available on the web. Uh, it has been around for a number of years and is very successful in that market space. So coming back to uh, this cloud database, it's highly scalable and high availability is also provided. What that means is that you can start out small and grow uh, you know big over time and also you do not have to worry about uh, availability uh, when it uh, when the database is housed in a server it is backed up and there are multiple uh, type of architecture considerations uh, where if a server goes down uh, they can um, bring it back up online without any interruption so a little point about that also, this uh, relational database is supported for Java, .NET, and other platforms that are out there. You also have the ability to have development and a stage architecture built in. And uh, this database happens to be uh, working at the row level security. Uh, these are different models that uh, some database platforms will support a table level security. But in our case, we are using a row level security. And the nice, th the last feature is my favorite, that uh, you can u utilize this cloud database for free uh, as long you have uh, less than three users with a record count below 100,000. So, uh, you know, if you are a small uh, business, maybe one or two person uh, shop, uh, this is definitely a viable solution for you as there is no ongo ongoing cost. So the things we're going to do is, uh, first of all, you need to create an account uh, at uh, database.com. Uh, we will uh, click on the login sign up uh, button and then we will follow directions. So I'm actually going to do a demo on that shortly. Uh, uh, but then uh, I think after that we'll log into the portal. So let's let's switch gears here. Uh, I am actually going to go to Firefox and you can also search for it on Yahoo or something like that. So uh, I already have uh, an account created but let me just walk you through the steps uh, in case you are not familiar. So once we get there there's a lot of info but you can simply click on the sign up uh, button here on, th on the right side and uh, so let me <coughs> let me just try uh, some of these different and then I'm going to in fact use uh, one of my many email accounts and then uh, this one doesn't really matter I guess I'm in Texas and we'll just call it Cash Corp and your username needs to be something that's uh, sort of unique so let me try see if that's uh, oh it needs to be in the form of an email so we'll just use the one we have and then uh, this is always a challenging part for me I think I am losing my eyesight as the years go by so bear with me if I once I try that so basically you know you enter your information uh, give it the email address and then you select sign up what this is going to do is uh, it, it will provision an account and send you an email um, that will um, have all the information. Real quickly from here, uh, these are good links to know uh, as far as, you know, if you want to learn more about the uh, product, there's the dev center, which is the development center and some other ideas. Uh, I'm not going to go in there right now. I'm simply going to go to my email and <clears throat> see if this shows up. So we just got this confirmation here. Let me click on to this first email and it came from sales, salesforce.com. Uh, my account is set up and now what it's saying is in order to log in you need to click on this link. So let me go ahead and do that.
Okay, and uh, it's asking me for a password. So let me uh, do that. You can definitely make it somewhat secure as there, you know, there will be data on here that is critical to your application or let me try this one or your company and whatnot. So here, basically, at this point, I'm logged into uh, you know what they call the interface. I'm um, before I do this, since I don't have anything uh, in this new account that I set up. I will actually be logging into my existing account but uh, before we do that let's uh, switch gears and as far as um, logging in uh, let's review some of these points when you do that um, like you just noticed uh, we have the graphic user interface so we will uh, do an overview we will talk about uh, the system overview which is in a sense a dashboard it will tell you you know what objects do you have uh, what kind of transactions and just really sort of like a high level information about your account then there's also a tab uh, that is personal that's uh, titled personal setup with really your account information uh, like your name user and whatnot we will also uh, look at the app setup tab this is where you will create uh, objects and we are actually going to create uh, a table in a little bit and then finally um, there's the admin setup tab and you can do uh, multiple uh, data management things here today after we create our object we are going to use uh, the import custom objects functionality to actually populate the data so quite a few things going on uh, before we go here let me switch back to uh, this one and I'm actually going to use another one of my accounts that actually has some information in there let me do that and let's just um, by the way notice uh, you should notice that the location for this is login.salesforce.com so maybe I can uh, uh, we'll just leave that as is for now but just do notice that you can get to that alright so now I'm logged in uh, and we, uh, like I mentioned, this is a high level, sort of like a dashboard. It tells me that I have two objects in here. I have the ability to have up to uh, 2,000. Uh, 2, and as far as, uh, you know, data records, uh, I only have 91. I can have up to half a million. So a lot of, uh, a lot of functionality right off the bat, uh, you know, not uh, without uh, any, any uh, cost to you. Uh, so that's what I do like about this. Uh, now if we go to the left side you'll notice there's the personal setup uh, about your account. Uh, we have the app setup. This is what we will be using to uh, you know create an object. In fact if I do this um, we will be looking at this uh, shortly. And then we have the admin setup. Uh, things like you can uh, manage users, uh, some other security settings, uh, your, uh, your workbench, uh, and data management which we are also going to use to uh, load up a table that we do create. If I move back up you will notice that uh, you know you can uh, search for things like um, objects or whatnot um, or you know search for I guess like different database topics type things in here uh, if you feel like it. Also we have some documentation on the on the right side uh, which you can definitely download getting started. Let me see if I click on that. Um, it takes you to sort of like a help section, you know, that can definitely be useful if you are new to this. So I think this is what I have uh, sort of like about the layout. Let me go back to my slide. Now what we are going to do is uh, focus on creating a new table which they actually call it an object but uh, really you know you're you're creating a table in, in our case uh, we will be uh, calling this a customer list and then after we uh, create it uh, the next step is going to be um, you know really populating the data so uh, let me just do this before we come here let's uh, go back and then uh, let me walk you through the steps. So what you're going to do is uh, a couple of different ways you can do this. You can right click here, create a new object, uh, or you can come down here under app setup, 
go to create and then select objects okay as you can notice we already have two objects in here uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one by clicking on new customer new custom object and then uh, like I said we are going to call it uh, we could just simply call it customer list okay now a few things to notice in here um, this is pretty much you know follow like one screen at a time type setup uh, very intuitive very easy to use uh, um, the label is the part that is used to identify your table now as I when I did that when I tab this it actually um, created object down here uh, object name down here and then this one simply is uh, your label with an S towards the end okay you can add a description if you wanted to this is customer data 